Hey guys, it's Vanessa. I'm here, obviously not at home. I'm actually traveling um, for work. I'm in Las Vegas on a business trip and I'm so stupid. I was so excited because I was like, oh, I can record videos. I brought my uh, actual camera to record videos and then I realized I didn't bring a laptop. So where was I going to edit and transport these videos? I don't know. And yeah, so that was kind of dumb. So I'm filming on my camera, so I apologize for any funkiness, but uh, the sun is rapidly setting. So I figured I would do a what's in my travel bag um, video, an updated one. I haven't done one in a while. Before I kind of did like a what you should pack or like what you should bring on a trip with you. So this is the stuff that I brought with me, um, the beauty stuff, obviously. And I'm going to do another video that is my travel essentials because there are some things that I really cannot live without um, that I think could be helpful. So we'll get started with this first. So the first thing I'll do is my little um, liquids baggie. And some of the stuff came out already. So the first thing I have is the uh, Mario Badescu Cucumber Cleansing Lotion, which is just like a little sample of a uh, toner. I always bring that with me and this has lasted me forever and I take it on like every trip and I'm very generous with it. I also have a little NARS makeup cleansing oil um, to remove makeup because I'm in Vegas and I've said this before, my skin gets really, really dry and insane out here. So I um, like to use as many like moisturizing things as possible. And then I also brought the Mario Badescu Rose Hips Nourishing Oil just in case I need an extra layer of moisture on my face. Um, more liquids. Oh, another thing is my liquids are in my cute three fluid ounce bag that I'm still reusing. If you haven't seen my super old three fluid ounce um, haul, I'll link it right here. I just brought plain water. Um, this is to revive my curls. I'm going to wash my hair tonight. Um, so to revive my curls, to revive my face, just water for whatever needs. Um, alcohol, which I bring to clean my makeup brushes and also sanitize anything that needs it and also to clean my glasses. This works really well. Uh, hand sanitizer, self-explanatory. My dying bottle of hairspray, I have to go buy another one. Um, this is the AJ Johnson Hair Care Leave-In Hydrating Mist um, because I brought uh, a bunch of stuff to do my hair with it. I won't show that because I didn't pull it out, sorry. <laughs> but this is just part of my hair care stuff. More hand sanitizer. This one I kind of use when I'm more, um, like on the plane and stuff because it doesn't smell as intense as the other ones. This one has a, mo a more natural smell and it's all natural. So I don't want to spray like random things in public. I don't know what people are allergic to. So this one's pretty safe. Um, so yes. And my little roller ball of uh, Very Hollywood by Michael Kors. And my Roto-V um, eye drops because like I said, Vegas just makes every part of me dry. So that's what's in my three fluid ounce bag. Then I'll do this little bag, which is normally like my skincare stuff, I think for the most part, or the stuff I could squeeze in here. Um, I brought little bottles of this Pramazone um, cream, and I actually got this from my dermatologist when I had my allergic reaction. This was the second cream that she gave me um, at the tail end of the allergic reaction, but I brought these just in case. Ever since then, I'm so paranoid about um, skin reactions that I just like to have this uh, with me in case I feel any kind of outbreak happening. I'll be prepared. Um, I brought my L'Oreal Youth Code Day Lotion SPF 30. I brought uh, another Mario Badescu sample that has lasted me forever, and this is the Enzyme Cleansing Gel, and I love this stuff. It really brightens your face and makes it look nice. Um, it is a little bit drying, so I bought another backup, uh, which is the CeraVe Hydrating uh, Cleanser, just in case uh, my skin starts feeling a little too dry from the Enzyme one. And then um, my Walnut Body Lotion from Mario Badescu. And also in here, I have a bunch of uh, salt packs for my neti pots by, uh, it's not a traditional neti pot, but it's the nasal pure. Um, and it's just like a nose cleaning irrigation thing. So this is the salt that goes with it um, because the dry air also makes my nose feel weird and that tends to help make my nose feel better. The next thing I brought, and it's missing one component because it's in my purse, um, is this super uh, old, I think it's like two years, I think, uh, Sephora palette thing. 
and it's pretty big but i like taking this and i use it exclusively for travel because you have like so many versatile looks in it there's a green one missing that's in my purse um but you get so many different versatile looks uh and it's really convenient because it comes with a lip a cheek and eye lots of eye products you can mix and match them or the cool thing um is that these each individually come out and then in the center there's a compact where you can put this in for the day and like throw it in your purse um, to go, which is another reason why I like this for travel. So I always uh, bring this because it just minimizes the little things I have. It's just one giant thing to bring and I just chuck it in my purse. So that's that. For other makeup, I brought um, my little uh, Rue Beauty. I think this is the small jewel case and let's see what's in here. The Vitamin E Sink and Moisture Mask that I showed in my haul. Um, and I used one on the plane and I really liked it. I, my skin felt really nice afterwards. So I have the three extra ones of those that I brought with me. I brought these uh, Clay Depot cotton pads. And these are extremely similar. They're almost like the exact same thing as the Shiseido. Um, but my friend got a sample of these and she gave them to me. And I liked them because there was just five of them in here. Nice, cute, tiny. I could travel with it. So I brought that. Um, I brought my Benefit What's Up Highlighter, and I like to bring this one for travel because it's not messy. It's just easy to use, easy to apply. In a pinch, you could use the applicator, so I really like that. And I do my makeup on the plane arriving and departing, so I like simple stuff like that. I brought my Smashbox High Definition. Oh, actually, this is funny. This isn't the Smashbox High Definition um, foundation, which I do like and used to be in here, but I use that all up. And uh, what is in here now is my Maybelline Fit Me in, I think it's 125 that I use. Um, but it's the Maybelline Fit Me in here because it has a pump, so I like that. So that's what's in here. Um, I brought this Smashbox, which I believe they don't make anymore, but it's uh, their contour palette. And it comes with a highlight, a bronzer, and a contour. Great for travel. I brought uh, this concealer, which I was like, oh, I have to use this concealer up, and I've been loving it again. And it's the Maybelline Super Stay Concealer 24 Hour, and I have it in the color Light, which is a little weird of a color match for me, but I can make it work if I don't use too much. But I love, love, love this concealer. I've had it for a while. Um, I brought the Penultimate Brow Marker um, from MAC uh, because it's easy for travel. I brought my Lancome Art Liner because I can't live without it. I brought the Milani HD Advanced Concealer in um, O2 in case I didn't need as much coverage as the Maybelline one or if I wanted to mix it for better coverage and color. I brought my Essence I Love Stage Eyeshadow Base as my primer and I actually really like this one. It's not the most long wearing but it's not so bad. I enjoy it. I'll save that for last. Um, also from Essence, I bought the Stay All Day Long Lasting Eyeshadow Base in Glammy Goes To, which is just this really pretty bronzy color. And I really like this color because it is, I mean, quite intense when you swatch it. But you can kind of sheer it out and it just makes all neutrals look really nice over it. And it's also a very simple going out shadow. So there's a couple fancy events um, at this convention that I'm at. So that is why I need a ta eyeshadow i brought um the mac falsies i believe mascara and it's just in black my friend gave this to me but the lid is totally broken on this one um and on the plane i was like doing my makeup and i'm like what in the heck i have to have to try to figure out how to jam that back on because that was not convenient oh i think i just did scoresies i love this mascara and she didn't like it so she literally tried it didn't like it gave me <laughs> But I think the top is cracked now. Oh, well. Um, let's see. What else? I got the Buxom Inside Eyeliner in Chocolate Citrine, which I've been using a lot again. I really like this liner. Um, also, MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I'm trying to use this bad boy up. Classic. But this is just a better, a more matte base than the Stay All Day. Um, I brought the Dream Smooth... Uh, Maybelline, um, what is this, 
foundation because it's an ultra hydrating cream whipped foundation and i really like the consistency of it um it's very similar to the eve pearl but i feel the eve pearl is a little more drying than this one so i wanted one that was specifically hydrating in case i wanted to use that rather than the fit me which is a little bit more of a sheer coverage i brought the cargo blu-ray high definition makeup pressed powder in number 30 which i love um and i hit major pan on because i like to set my foundation with it and sometimes if i'm in a crazy rush it can just be my foundation um although with this weather i don't know do you know am i the only one who's like the cargo compacts all break on them like almost all my cargo compacts break on me and i don't know if it's cargo or if it's me because i love them and then i use them too much and this is my other broken cargo palette i also brought the cargo essential palette in i think this one is in dark neutral yes dark neutral which is one of my absolute favorite neutral palettes I love this. Um, it's just four very simple colors. I think it's a better palette than like the Naked Basics, but it does have like this one's like sh uh, a sheen, not so much shimmer, but a little bit of sheen to it. But anyways, I brought this because it has mostly mattes or just satin kind of colors to counteract the um, Sephora palette, which doesn't have too many buddy color kind of colors. And this one does. Um, and then I think the rest of the stuff is lip products. I brought my bag balm, of course, cannot go to bed without that. I brought my baby lips, again, hydration is real out here in the desert. <laughs> and then I brought four lipsticks that I could um, wear alone or play up those uh, lip glosses that are in that palette with. The first one I brought was Viva Glam Gaga 2. And I brought this one because a lot of those colors are very nice, but they're sheer glosses. And if I put this underneath, it'll give a little bit more coverage and help the color come out a lot. It's also a great color to mix with brights um, so you can tone things down. So it's a really good mixing kind of universal color to have with you. I brought Viva Glam Cindy. Um, if I wanted to go red, but not too red, this is obviously the perfect choice. Um... I brought Viva Glam Nikki 2, which was an accident, <laughs> but I have a color that I can mix with it, so that's there. <coughs> I brought um, Utter Pervetch, just because it's a really pretty, like, nude. I know I'm losing lights. I apologize. And I also brought Craft because it's a nice, uh, deeper nude um, that I can mix with the Gaga 2 or with... Um, some of those lip glosses so that's all the beauty items i brought i hope you guys like that oh one more i almost forgot i brought a brush roll obviously um and i just bring the delium tools travel brush set and then i sometimes add some in there so these don't all come with it for example this isn't i think a full size um it's just a small brush so i put it in here and it's just like this really big buffing brush it's the 992 um this one comes with the Travel, and it's their Travel uh, 964. This is the Travel 942. This is the 957, but I don't think it's Travel. I think this was a press. Um, it was like for press, so they just made it a small handle. But I love that for foundation, powder or cream or liquid. Um, I have the 777, which comes with the Travel. And then the 763, which also comes with the travel. And then the 785, which comes with the travel kit. And then a Sonia Kashuk uh, blending brush that I don't know the name of, but it looks like this. And the Real Techniques uh, shading brush for an extra shader brush. Also the Real Techniques, uh, what's this one called? The setting brush to set my concealer and also to apply highlight. Um, the MAC 286, which I like to apply my concealer with. And the Senna Cosmetics Brow 1, mainly for the spoolie, but it also has another kind of angled liner that I can play with. So that is really all that I brought. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that. And um, more videos to come. I'm going to do a Travel Essentials video for sure, and I'll think of, um, I don't plan on buying anything here, but if I do buy something, I'll do a haul or that sort of thing, and check my Instagram for Outfit of the Days and fun Vegas photos, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.